How's it going? This video is going to be about Spring Boot CLI. CLI is always a great thing for developers where you just use a terminal to write some commands and CLI will do the job for you. It's a lot quicker than using a graphical user interface. And Spring Boot has a CLI which can help you to do certain operations. And I'm gonna show you that. I also refer to the official documentation of Spring Boot CLI. We can install CLI using SDKMN IO. Go there and then you'll find Spring Boot CLI there. Just copy that command, open terminal, paste that command there. It will update the SDK itself. And now it's downloading Spring Boot 2.5.6. It's done, it's asking me if I wanna update the SDK as well, I'll just type yes, and there we go. Now I'm gonna type SDK list Spring Boot, and you can see the version that we installed. I'm gonna type Spring space space version, and that's the version of our CLI. Next, I'm gonna type Spring init command. This is going to create a new project for us. I'll tap ls, and you'll see demo.zip file is here. And that's basically a Spring Boot application. And there's RM to delete that file. Then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna type Spring dash dash help, which is basically a manual for Spring Boot CLI. And you can go and explore more what are the options available in Spring Boot CLI from this command. Or you can go to official documentation as well. I'm gonna use a command to generate a new project. I'll start by typing spring init dash a, which basically an artifact ID. We'd name it REST API dash L for a language. We use Java dash dash build, which allows us to choose Maven or Gradle. I'm gonna use Gradle. You can also pass in the folder name if you want the CLI to extract your project. Now it says using the service add the link for Spring Boot and it says project extracted to the part where it's been extracted. I'm gonna CD into REST API, LS, and there you go. You have the project build from Spring Boot CLI. I'm going to open that in IntelliJ by using another command. Let's open this project by using a command idea dot slash and that basically is generated by JetBrains toolbox application. This command will help us to open IntelliJ IDEA with this folder. I'm going to trust this folder by checking this trust project in that particular folder and clicking on that button. IntelliJ will start downloading Gradle versions and start building the project and will update the indexes as well, as you can see in the background task pop-up. And you can see that in a build window as well. On top right, we have the project structure. I'm gonna to go to source, Java. And this time, because we use the language Java, the folder name is Java. Open a demo application.java file, and here you have this app Spring Boot annotation, which makes this project as Spring Boot application. Our project build is successful. I'm going to simply click on this play button, which will run a Spring Boot application. Click on that, and you'll see it is executing class called classes and you will see a message from Spring Boot. Our application is built successfully. We did two things. We created this function. We added this get mapping annotation from this package spring framework.web.bind.annotation.get mapping. The second annotation we added is REST controller, which will make this class as a REST controller. So when you run this application, this class will be treated as a controller. And we added this mapping to dash hello. Let's run the application by clicking on this play button and then we'll wait for the server to start. Once done, then you will see a port, which is 8080.
This is the browser. Open new tab. I'm going to use port 8080 and you'll see white label error page because we haven't really added the mapping yet. So type slash hello. Enter and you'll see the message coming from your API. Hello world from get mapping. Congratulations. At this stage, you have successfully created a REST API with GET endpoint using Spring Boot framework. And you can run this now to grab this Hello World from GET mapping test using HTTP localhost colon 8080 slash hello. Congratulations. And I'll see you guys in the next video with a lot more Spring Boot knowledge.